Hi, man, it's Peter, and welcome to Double Stop Madness. <laughs> so what is Double Stop Madness? Actually, it's a way of playing double stops uh, on a blues, which is actually a very cool way uh, to give really punch and um, power into a bluesy solo. And if you have a cool... Um, a cool sound setting, like uh, this case, I have a. I really love this orange amp modulation uh, on, on the single, and here I'm on a single coil, and this gives really cool sound for a double stop. So let's check it out. What I mean. Now we are having a blues in D, so we're playing D minor pentatonics here in the tenth fret. So this is one of the first of the <laughs> double stop madness. <laughs> so we start on the tenth, slide in, first little lick, and then here in the tenth and the twelfth, slide bending release, then go to ten. And you hear it, this single note. A uh, single coil sound. Is that really this crispy sound, uh, which is really great on this kind of playing? <laughs> cool stuff. Let's check it out with the track. Yeah, really cool stuff. And just keep it going and um, this is also cool. Here in the 13th, remain here with the pink in the 13th, make the bending on the 12th. The hard thing is that you make the bending, but with the pink you make nothing. You can make it as double stop or... What I really like to do is when I do like this... Then I'll keep the pink in, then I go to the 10th and the pink remains. And even when I go down, these two notes above remain, and then I add the root note here in the 12th with the ring finger, which is actually really cool. So uh, to get this double stop madness. So let's check that one out. Pretty cool stuff. Now the problem is um, <laughs> when you start a solo with double stops and you enter the second chorus, what shall we do to have get even more tension? Because we need we need this tension line which goes up. And when we start on a high level, we need some additional stuff to give you even more. And then <laughs> I have a very nice thing which I found out uh, during a performance uh, many, many years ago with the Elvis impersonator. <laughs> um, I missed the chord and I just thought, wow, that sounds cool. And so I call this um, <laughs> the, <laughs> the neurotic. Neurotic Elvis chord. <laughs> That's really funny. Actually, what you do here, <coughs> this is then the highlight of the tension line. You just play a D minor, uh, D minor chord here, 15, 14, 11, uh, 13, and which is you hear it's a minor chord, but when you really attack it hard and make a little bending, it gets more and more neurotic, like Elvis. That's really funny. And check it out because then you really can have this extra punch on the second chorus. Yeah, 
you see in the <laughs> watch out that you don't get no reward with this one. So when we put together all things now in two cores, we start slightly with easy double stops and then we go in the neurotic part and have this high tension and then at the end of the solo we drop down and yeah cool it down so let's check it out we start easily I hope you enjoyed my little tips um, on uh, this double stop madness. Uh, it was really funny <laughs> for me, actually. I really enjoy this neurotic Elvis scores chord. I just can imagine when when he makes his hip swing with the nice flowers around his neck, and then he, then he hears this chord in one of these soul. Oh, you learned something tonight, and then this chord. <laughs> Then he gets neurotic. <laughs> I don't want to. Um, no offense against any Elvis fans. He, I mean, he's a great artist. But uh, yeah, some fun in life is always good. Yeah, and I think he also would have laughed about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, double stop madness. <laughs>